called out to me and I saw him between the boards. The boards were this far apart. I only saw him between the boards that day. His name is Neptune now, an homage to the date he was rescued, D-Day, June 6, 2014. From conditions investigators called deplorable, unacceptable, criminal. The case only goes back a few years, but Teresa first spotted him at Southwick Farm back in 2003. He ate at my heart for endless years. Endless years. I'll never forget those eyes. Three of the five horses removed from this barn, a dungeon, says Teresa, belonged to Joni Osgood. A jury found Osgood guilty of misdemeanor animal cruelty charges in May. Tuesday, she learned her sentence. The judge upheld the circuit court ruling, 30 days in jail, three years suspended, banned from horse ownership. I think this sends a message to people that you can't just leave your animals if you can't afford them anymore, that there are resources in the community. Joni knew exactly where their resources are because she showed up a few days before the horses were taken to the farm. The rescue of Neptune, Patton, Churchill, Normandy, and Rosie was the most expensive undertaking in the history of Live and Let Live Farm. Teresa says costs crest $70,000, from medical bills to hoof care and dental work. They never, ever even saw the light of day in the dreary dungeon they existed in for so many years. And I can't say live in because they really didn't have a life. It was just existence. Several people testified on behalf of Joni Osgood, including her mother, who talked about depression in the family, the loss of Joni's son, and financial worries. The judge acknowledged the mitigating circumstances, but admonished Osgood for neglecting the horses, voiceless and innocent, for years.